Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how you can dual boot Windows 10 and Linux Mint. First we need to download Linux Mint by going to linuxmint.com Download page I'm using the 64-bit editions the Cinnamon Linux Mint 18.1 Serena and I already downloaded the image this is just for demonstration purposes and speaking about demonstration purposes and showing this dual boot process I'm using Hyper-V Manager and currently I have Windows 10 Virtual Machine installed which I will add Linux Mint to this virtual machine so at the end it will be dual boot Windows 10 and Linux Mint. If you have any question regarding how to install Windows 10 on a virtual machine please watch my other videos I will add the link to this video description and also I will add the link to Linux Mint to this video description as well okay after downloading Linux Mint finished we can burn it to the disk or but we have to make sure burn it as ISO image not as data image also we can put the ISO image into the USB and make the USB bootable by using this third-party software go to this website I will add the link to this video description as well and what we want to do we want to download the portable edition basically the portable you don't need to install the software you can just simply double click the software and it will execute it will give us the options to select the image and select the drive which basically the USB drive plugged in and then makes it bootable and also we need to keep in mind we have to go to the BIOS the basic input output system and make some adjustment change the boot sequence making sure when we restart the computer the system will boot from USB depending on the system there are some computers that you need to press delete key F2 escape key or F1 in order to go to the BIOS and then when you are inside the BIOS we have to go to the startup or boot tab and then change the primary boot sequence and make sure the removal device or USB is first. So when we restart the computer, the computer will look at the USB drives first to boot up the system. Basically, we want to initiate the process of installation. So it will boot from the USB, it will detect the ISO image and it will give us the options to go through the process of installation. All right, let's go ahead and download the portable. So as we can see, download finished start the software okay so here as we can see detect all my USB flash drives plugged into this computer we want to make sure we remove any other USB flash drive external hard drive because we don't want to format any other uh, USB flash drives uh, if we format we will lose our data so I know this is my new flash drive that I want to add this ISO image uh, to this USB drive and make it bootable I don't want to add it to the PNY so I'm going to go ahead uh, close this one just to be sure and remove the PNY and then start the software one more time so as we can see right now we have only one option F drive in my case and F drive is the removable drive which we can double check make sure F drive yes it's a removable drive alright so we need to make sure F drive is selected we'll leave this as MBR battery 2 the cluster size everything default and here where it says create bootable disk using free those we can select our ISO image and then click on disk to select the image so this is our Linux Mint ISO image which we downloaded earlier I'm gonna make sure that's selected open and then click start additional download requires for this bootable operating system to boot up and yes Hit OK and it tells us making sure you have already backed up your data you will lose all the data on the F drive because it will format and it will extract this ISO image onto this drive so in my case this is brand new USB so I don't have any data on it so it's no problem I can simply click OK to continue so as we can see it is extracting the ISO image into this USB flash drive and makes it bootable 
Alright, as we can see, extracting the ISO image to the USB flash drive has been completed. Next step, we need to create some free space on the hard drive so we can install the next mint on another partition. We have to keep in mind, anytime when we are doing the dual boot, we cannot install both of the operating systems on the same partition or on the same hard drive with a single partition. So if we want to add another hard drive and install the second operating system on a second hard drive or if we have just one hard drive and we want to shrink the volume to create free space so we can install the second operating system on a second partition all right so as i mentioned earlier i'm using hyper remanager windows 10 already installed okay so let's go ahead create some free space so we can install the next mint on the second partition we need to go to disk management we can simply right click start menu disk management and here as we can see disk 0 we have currently two partitions so on a C drive we need to right click and shrink volume to create some free space so let's go ahead just assign 30,000 and it gives us approximately 30 gigabytes so this is 30 gigabytes unallocated space so we can install the next mint on this section okay now we can close disk management Again, as I mentioned earlier, depending on the system, you might need to press on F1 or F2, maybe delete key or escape key to go to the BIOS and go into the boot tab or boot sequence, startup tab and change the primary boot sequence. Save changes and restart your computer. In my case, since I'm using Hyper-V Manager, I just need to attach the ISO image by going to File, Settings, DVD, browse, make sure Linux Mint selected, OK, apply, and OK. Going back to the full screen, all right, right now if I restart the computer, it will ask me question if I want to boot from installation disk. We have to press any key to boot from the installation disk. So as we can see, it is booting from the Linux Mint. Alright, as we can see, the system did boot from the ISO image. So we want to do the installation. Let's go ahead, double click on install Linux Mint. Select the language, continue. Install the third party software and click on continue. Alright, when we get to this page, as we can see, uh, automatically it did detect that currently we have Windows 10 installed. So as we can see, this computer currently has Windows 10 on it. What would you like to do? Install an X-Men alongside Windows 10. Document, music, and other personal files will be kept. Okay, you can choose which operating system you want each time the computer to boot from. And we don't want to select, erase the disk and install the next mint because we will lose everything. All the data, picture, music, everything. Windows 10 installation will be gone. Everything will be gone. Or if you want to do this process uh, manually, creating partitions, we can simply select something else and then go through the process of selecting the partition for Linux Mint to be installed which we want to select on allocated space and for demonstration purposes I'm gonna go ahead use something else continue all right as we can see this is the free space we created earlier using disk management we want to double click on this free space and let's say 25,000 megabytes and we want to make sure this is the primary and the fourth extended file system it's basically better than the third extended file system because it is more reliable and it supports larger file so let's keep as ext4 and mounting point we want to make sure it is mounted to the root and I'll click ok this is where the linux mint operating system will be installed the leftover uh, free space we want to double click and then let's go ahead and make sure it's changed to the swap area. This is basically where the actual physical memory is full. It will use the swap area. This is like a virtual memory in Windows where we have paging file and it's basically the area of a hard drive as if it were memory, random access memory. Okay, let's go ahead and click OK. 
and we want to make sure the 25,000 megabyte extended file system partition is selected because uh, we want to install the operating system on this partition and this partition is for memory so this one is selected and then install now kind of quick summary continue choosing the location and click on continue I will keep this as default as is click continue And this is for demonstration purposes. I'm using short password. We have worst case scenario. We want to make sure we have a strong password using complex password, such as where we have uppercase, lowercase, numbers, symbols, minimum of eight characters long. And click continue. So as we can see, right now it's going through the process of installation, installing Linux Mint on the second partition. This installation will take a while, I will fast forward this process. Alright, as we can see the installation has been completed successfully, let's go ahead and restart. At this point you need to remove any installation disk, USB flash drive from the computer and restore your computer one more time. In my case I just need to click on action and reset since I'm using Hyper Manager. Okay so as we can see this is the boot menu option and we have Linux Mint here and we have Windows 10 so we can change this boot menu option already I have the link I will add the link to this video description and by simply searching for easy BCD and going to this website and then see the plans they have multiple different plans we can for non-commercial purposes it is free register and then your name and email address and then download and simply using this third-party software you can create and modify computer bootloader so every time when you restart the computer you can see boot menu choosing between Windows 10 or Windows Linux Mint which I will show you next Okay, let's go ahead boot into Windows 10, up and down arrow on using your keyboard and then make sure Windows 10 is selected, enter. Alright, this is our Windows 10 and as I mentioned earlier how you can download the Easy BCD boot configuration data. After installing Easy BCD, let's go ahead start the application, right click run as administrator, yes. Alright, as we can see here in edit boot menu, we have only Windows 10. Let's go ahead and click on add new entry. Click Linux tab. Type. Let's go ahead and select GRUB2. And let's go ahead and call Linux Mint. Drive. We want to make sure partition 3 Linux is selected. And then click on add entry. Now if you go to edit boot menu, we should be able to see the Linux Mint added. Windows 10 is the default. After 30 seconds, it will boot to Windows 10. We have 30 seconds to choose from Windows 10 and Linux Mint. We want to make sure save settings and click on BCD backup and repair. Recreate perform action. Just to be sure, going back to edit boot menu save settings and then close the software alright let's go ahead right click start menu to restart Windows 10 as we can see we should be able to see the dual boot menu Windows 10 and Linux Mint let's go ahead select Linux Mint enter Okay, as we can see Linux Mint, it's up and running. And let's go ahead, restart. So we can boot from Windows 10. Using up and down arrow on the keyboard, Windows 10, highlight it, and press enter.
and this is the Windows 10. Well, this was an example of dual booting between Windows 10 and Linux Mint. If you liked it, please press the like button. If you loved it, please subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good day.